12.47 a.m. We gotta drive a half an hour to the emergency vet. Bruno's got a bone stuck in his throat. So, he's having a hard time breathing and he's coughing and stuff. So we're gonna take him to the vet. And I got you on night vision because it's dark. So, hopefully they can get it out for him. Okay, so, I don't know if you can see him back there. We're out of the emergency room. Mm -hmm. He did have bones caught in his throat. But by the time we got here, they had already gone down. And she said that they're small enough that um, he shouldn't have any problems. That the acid in his stomach, they're small enough now that it should take care of it. So, but she said when he was, he was, had his neck stretched up at the house and kept opening his mouth. She said that was him trying to get it to go down. And it was obstructing his breathing a little bit, but they think that the car ride over here uh, helped to bring it down to bouncing and stuff so because monkey felt a bone in his throat didn't yeah yeah I yeah. put my finger down his throat and I could feel it and I didn't want to touch it because I didn't want to push it yeah in case it was too big and so I, what if I grabbed it and, and it pushed it down further you know they said he's one of the best dogs they've ever had in there, <laughs> didn't they? Yeah, he was a good puppy. They said he, and the doctor called him a handsome boy. Yes. She said he is a handsome boy and he's in there loving up on everybody. <laughs> she said, you know, she's guilty too because she gives her dog and dog's bones. Right. Yeah, but I mean, she didn't say we shouldn't give him bones, yeah. but... She also said there's other things better than giving a bone. Yeah, but she said it, it was kind of a fluke thing. Well, it was a steak yeah. bone. Yeah, T-bone. T-bone. T-bone, so and, yeah. Yeah, so I figured, you know, he would be fine with it, but he had cut the end piece off. Yeah, he bit an end piece off and, and just swallowed it. Yeah. But I asked her, I said, well, is this a common thing or is it kind of a fluke thing? She said, well, in this case, it's kind of a fluke thing because it's such yeah. a big bone. Yeah. Because she said a lot of dogs, like the smaller bones, they'll like try to swallow them whole. But right. she said in this case, he just probably bit off a tip of it and broke off and he just swallowed it. So, yeah. um, so she, but she said, I'm guilty of giving my dogs bones, but she said there are better things, but, um. She says, I'm not going to sit here and tell you not to. <laughs> right. Yeah. Because she's guilty of Yeah, she said, I'm so. not, you know, I'm not going to tell you not to. After this, it's a $319 yeah. vet bill. So, I don't think I want to give them bones. Not for a long time. It's 3.55 in the morning. Yes. But the $300, I mean, like Monkey said, we was talking about this, and she said, you know, it's, what if... You know what if it didn't go down yeah. and you know he just couldn't breathe through the he night fell and asleep. yeah you know he could have died overnight which that's a good possibility so actually bringing him out probably did help him because you know him just laying there sleeping it wouldn't have went down yeah no so no, so it you know made it worse it's three hundred dollars yeah. but you know it that's that's our dog you know they're pretty pricey. The only thing I didn't Very like, pricey. They, as soon as you walk in the door, they are fully aware of you knowing how much everything is, like, right there and then, and that you have to pay cash or pay by a credit card, like, right there and then. Well, yeah, well, they, when Monkey called before she even got out what was wrong with him, she started rattling off what it was going to cost just to walk in the door. But here's the thing. We only have two two emergency veterinarian hospitals that are open this time of night. One was 47 minutes away from us in Spring Hill and this one in Ocala which was 33 minutes. Right. That's it. Well there's one in Gainesville but I mean in our area. Yeah. So we couldn't drive you know over an hour to get to Gainesville. Right. So we really had no choice. So you know when 
when you're afraid your dog's gonna die, oh man, I was I was so so scared for him. He was shaking like a big daddy. <laughs> That's what a monkey said to the doctor. She said, he's a good daddy. <laughs> well, I mean, it's just, wow. I'm cool. I'm worried, but I'm still cool. This one over here is like, oh, if they do anything to help, I'm going to go in there. Da, 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 da. I just said they better, not, they better not hurt him. You know, well, there was a dog yelping and then... It's hard like a to half an hour. Yeah. yeah, he really was crying a lot. And I'm like, I don't hope that's not Bruno. It kind of you sounded know? like him, but we've never heard him cry like it, so we wasn't sure no. if that's the way he would sound. But so. it wasn't Bruno. But it was another dog, and, and they were doing, they had done surgery on that dog. He got bit by three puppies that well, three, attacked him. Three puppies attacked him? her. Yeah, it's yeah. actor. And yeah. she had to have surgery. Yeah, gashes and they gouges. They were pit bulls, right? I, don't I believe know what they, they were pit bulls. I don't know what they were. But you can't blame it on no. the breed. I no. blame it on the owners. Yeah, oh, so do I. I mean, geez, these are puppies. What the heck? Anyway, so that's the dog that was yelping so badly. Was it? Yes, it was her dog. Well, still, I mean... Would think to suture up a dog, even a dog, you would give it, you know, numb it. Well, you would have thought he would have been so croggy that from the surgery. And but I don't know. Here's the thing, guys. That place got bad reviews. It's just horrible. Yeah, we started reading them when and, we get handed Bruno. We should have looked at them before we went there. Don't be sitting in a waiting room reading the bad reviews when you're worried about your puppy dying. Yeah, that's not a good idea. But, you know, it's like I, I want to know what's going on with this place. You know, I want to know what he's doing back there. Cause, well, they don't let you go back. They didn't even come back out. But to find out, she there was only one vet in there. But they had two other girls. Why couldn't they come out and say, hey, you know, this is what we're doing to your dog. Well, they call and, you. You know, they could have told us. Well, when you walk in, there's a sign that says, uh, be prepared for prolonged wait. Could take up to six hours. And, yeah, yeah. And I'm like, what? And they're not open during the day. They're only open at night. All right. So if you don't... So they, they close at 7.45 in the morning. If... If you don't pick your dog up by 8 o'clock, every 15 minutes you're late, they charge you 20 bucks. Yeah. It's $150 to walk in there. Yeah. But they had to x-ray him because they, they needed to know where it was at and what it was, which we was pretty sure it was a bone. But he's, yeah. he's good now, so... Anyway, that was our night slash morning. It's 4 a.m. now, so... So we're going to get off of here. a few hours of sleep. I know, monkey's got to work. But, I, I mean, there for I a while, he was... done it this way. Then sat there all night yeah. worried. Well, there for a while, he, he couldn't breathe. I mean, he yeah. was just... <gasps> yeah. And he, he started crying. And that dog don't cry for no reason. No. He hardly ever cries. No. I think I've heard him cry twice since... Well, since we've had him, he was 10 weeks old when we got him. So I've heard him, I heard him yip once and I heard him cry twice. But he was good with them and, and that's a good thing to know yep. that your dog is good, you know, when they go to the vets. And he loves to go to our vet, so I thought, oh, yeah. man, I hope they don't do something to scare him to where he don't even want to go. But she said, no, he's back there fine. He's playing with everybody. Yeah. <laughs> and... Yeah, the, the one nurse brought him out and said, oh, he's such a good dog. Yeah. They all love him, man. So. And they said that he can eat for, what, 24 hours? Yeah, they don't want him to. Saturday. Yeah, Saturday morning. Yeah. Because so he's kind of fasting. If, he can drink water, but, yeah, they don't want him to eat. She said that if uh, there's no food in there, then it'll eat. It'll chew the uh, bone up. They, there'll be more acid. Yeah. So if there's less food in there, there'll be more acid to... Get rid of that. But they're pill. small enough now so that... Th there's more than one. There's several pieces. Yeah. 
And so, but it's a good thing we brought him. Yeah. So, anyway, guys, that was our morning month. Yep. Never a dull moment with us. Let's see. I don't know where the hell there he is. Yep, he had a big day. Anyway, guys, just wanted to share that with you because I know a lot of you guys always ask how Bruno's doing and love to see him and stuff. So. It's a lesson, you know, too, at the same time. Yeah, I mean, we couldn't afford this, but we had no choice, you know. Yeah. I mean, you wouldn't hesitate to take your child, you know. Of course, they bill you. Yeah. <laughs> this place does not bill you. No. Nope. Um, there are bad reviews. Now, I did like the doctor. Very nice. But the woman at the front desk, is just, she just horrible. Mm -hmm. You know, just, it's going to be this much and sign this paper and just picks him up and takes off. Yeah. yeah. You know. And then I'm like, do I want to give him to her? Yeah, you know? I mean, it's I like. Mean, and then you're sitting there going, my God, what if they do something that we don't see? Don't go back there. They yeah, don't they don't let you go back. And, but see, the thing, uh, you know, like our vet, you know, from day one when they first met him, hi, Bruno, so this is Bruno, how you doing? You know, she didn't. She didn't say hi, Bruno, or nothing. Just picked him up and took him. Yeah. It's just like you was taking your car in to get a set of tires put on. Yeah, give him the keys yeah. and go wait. Yeah. But the doctor herself yeah, was she seemed very, very cool. Yeah, she, she was fine. Nice. So... Well, it's a learning hospital. That's what it is. Yeah, they train. Yeah, there are vets that are learning from school. So. Yeah. So, but man, I, I was. <laughs> we go in there, I'm shaking like a leaf, because they brought us in that room, <laughs> and she said, "Bruno's fine. He's breathing fine again. So he was having problems when." Yeah. Because she took him back and came right back, what, like a minute later. I said, we got to do an x-ray. So there was something. Yeah. And she said, yeah, he did have a blockage, but it did go down. So, yeah. But as soon as she said he's breathing fine again, so he was having problems. Yes, he, he was. was. Going at, <laughs> but she believes the car ride from our house to there helped. Dislodge it. Yeah. Yeah. But see, again, another thing is... What if it was too big for acid and too big to pass? It would have got stuck in his intestines. Yeah. So it's always best to go check, man, because, you know, like, yeah, if we could have got it to go down, then, you know, we'd be wondering, is it too big? Right. To, for him to pass or for the acid to eat it up. Yeah. So, anyway, guys. <laughs> That was our evening slash morning. So thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Bruno's fine now, so. <laughs> he's fine. Yeah, say now bye. Now we can go home and can sleep and know that he's okay. Yeah. That was the main thing, so. When you can't <laughs> breathe, that's a horrible thing. Yeah. I mean, you know, there's nothing you can do. And when he was just a couple months old, though, I had to give him the doggy hunt it. Yeah. But there was no choice. I mean, there wasn't no driving 30 minutes. He was dying. Yeah. And I get, and I looked it up real quick on Google to make sure that I was going to do it right. And sure enough, he brought it up. Yeah. I don't know what that was. It wasn't a bone, I don't think. But he had something caught in there, and he he was he couldn't stand up. He was on his way out. <laughs> you know, he was getting ready to pass out. And yeah. His eyes kept closing, so... Um, but I did the doggy Heimlich, and it's really easy, but it I saved his ass then. But this time it was like, you know, because it was in a certain way that he was still getting some air, it wouldn't go down, but I was afraid if I'd bring it up, because you should only do it in an emergency. But since he was getting, breathing, you know, it was labored, but he was breathing. I didn't want to take the chance because they say, you know, if it's not a last resort option, don't do it because it could cut his tissue and stuff coming back up so and make it worse. And I, di I didn't want to do that. So, all right, we are out of here. Yep. Like the scissors up now. <laughs> Bye, y'all. <laughs>
Well, guys, thanks for watching. I uh, appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next one. Shea Bird, the man, the legend. I'm gone for now. Bye-bye, guys, and uh, have a good weekend.